Mosasaurus was a fascinating marine reptile that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70, 66 million years ago. Size and appearance. Mosasaurus was a massive creature, with some species reaching lengths of up to 50, 60 feet, 15, 18 meters. It had a streamlined body, a long tail, and four powerful flippers that were adapted for efficient swimming in the open ocean. Predator of the seas, Mosasaurus was a top predator in the ancient oceans. It had a set of sharp, conical teeth that were well suited for capturing and eating a variety of prey, including fish, ammonites, smaller marine reptiles, and possibly even other mosasaurs. Aquatic adaptations, Mosasaurus had several adaptations that made it well suited for life in the water. Its limbs had evolved into flippers, and its tail was likely used for propulsion, enabling it to navigate and hunt effectively in its marine environment. Habitat Mosasaurus inhabited warm, shallow seas that covered parts of what is now North America, Europe, and other regions. These ancient seas provided abundant food sources for these apex predators. Breathing Mosasaurus was a reptile and therefore needed to surface to breathe air despite its fully aquatic lifestyle. It is believed that Mosasaurus would have used its flippers and tail to swim to the surface to breathe, similar to modern-day whales and dolphins. Fossils and discovery. The first fossils of Mosasaurus were discovered in the early 19th century in the Netherlands. Since then, many other fossils have been found in various parts of the world, including North America and Europe. Extinction. Like many other dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures, Mosasaurus went extinct around 66 million years ago during the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event. This mass extinction was triggered by a combination of factors, including a massive asteroid impact and volcanic activity, which led to changes in the Earth's climate and environment. Scientific classification. Mosasaurus belongs to the family Mosasauridae, which is a group of marine reptiles known as Mosasaurs. Mosasaurs were not true dinosaurs, but rather closely related to lizards and snakes. Pop culture. Mosasaurus gained widespread recognition and popularity due to its appearance in the Jurassic World movie franchise. In Jurassic World, Mosasaurus is depicted as a massive marine predator living in a large aquatic enclosure. Mosasaurus is a captivating example of the diversity of life that existed during the Mesozoic era. Its large size, powerful adaptations and role as a dominant predator make it a subject of great interest for paleontologists and enthusiasts alike. Plesiosaurus was a prehistoric marine reptile that lived during the Mesozoic era, specifically the Jurassic period, around 205 to 145 million years ago. Physical characteristics. Plesiosaurus had a unique and distinct appearance. It had a compact body with a long neck and four flippers. Its neck was much longer than its body, and it is known for its iconic portrayal with a flexible, serpent-like neck. Neck structure. Plesiosaurus had a highly flexible neck with a large number of vertebrae, which allowed it to move its head and neck in various directions underwater. This adaptation likely helped it catch prey more efficiently. Flippers Plesiosaurus had four flippers, which it used for steering and propulsion through the water. These flippers were paddle-like and well adapted for swimming. Diet Plesiosaurus is believed to have been a carnivorous predator, feeding on a diet of fish, small marine reptiles and possibly cephalopods like squid and ammonites. Its long neck and sharp teeth were well suited for capturing and consuming prey. Habitat Plesiosaurus inhabited the oceans of the Jurassic period. It is thought to have preferred coastal and shallow waters, where its prey would have been abundant. Fossil evidence Fossils of Plesiosaurus have been found in various parts of the world, including Europe and North America. These fossils provide valuable insights into the anatomy, behavior, and evolutionary history of this marine reptile. Swimming style, Plesiosaurus is often depicted in a swan-like pose, with its neck extended above the water's surface. However, recent scientific studies suggest that Plesiosaurus likely swam with its neck stretched horizontally underwater, using its flippers to maneuver. Extinction 
Plesiosaurus, like many other prehistoric creatures, went extinct around 145 million years ago. The exact reasons for its extinction are not fully understood, but could be linked to environmental changes and shifts in the marine ecosystem. Scientific classification. Plesiosaurus belongs to the group Plesiosauria within the order Sauropterygia. This group includes various marine reptiles with different body shapes and sizes. Paleontological significance. Plesiosaurus and other plesiosaurs played a significant role in shaping public perceptions of prehistoric creatures. Its unique appearance and portrayal in popular media have contributed to its recognition and interest among people of all ages. Plesiosaurus is a fascinating example of the diversity of life that existed during the Jurassic period. Its long neck, aquatic adaptations, and role as a marine predator make it a subject of ongoing research and fascination in the field of paleontology. Aetheosaurs were a diverse group of marine reptiles that lived during the Mesozoic era, particularly during the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. These reptiles are known for their streamlined bodies and adaptations for life in the water. Aquatic Adaptations Ichthyosaurs were fully adapted to life in the water. They had streamlined bodies with long slender snouts which helped reduce water resistance as they swam. Their limbs had evolved into paddle-like flippers, making them efficient swimmers. Size range. Ichthyosaurs came in various sizes, ranging from small species around 3, 4 feet, 1, 1.2 meters in length, to much larger species that could reach lengths of up to 50, 60 feet, 15, 18 meters. Diet ichthyosaurs were carnivorous predators, feeding on a diet of fish and other marine organisms. Their sharp teeth and streamlined bodies allowed them to catch and consume prey efficiently. Reproduction Ichthyosaurs were viviparous, meaning they gave birth to live offspring instead of laying eggs. Fossil evidence suggests that ichthyosaur embryos developed within the mother's body and were born as fully formed individuals. Fossil record. Fossils of ichthyosaurs have been found in various parts of the world, including Europe, the Americas, and Asia. These fossils provide valuable insights into the evolutionary history and adaptations of these marine reptiles. Evolutionary relationships. Ichthyosaurs are classified within the group Ichthyosauria, which is part of the larger order Sauropterygia. Despite their reptilian appearance, ichthyosaurs are not closely related to modern reptiles like lizards and snakes. Extinction Ichthyosaurs thrived during the Mesozoic era but eventually went extinct around the late Cretaceous period, roughly 90 million years ago. The exact reasons for their extinction are still debated among scientists and could be related to changes in the marine ecosystem. Swimming style Ichthyosaurs are believed to have swum by moving their bodies in a side-to-side -side motion, similar to how fish swim. Their powerful flippers would have provided the primary means of propulsion. Paleontological significance. Ichthyosaurs have played a crucial role in our understanding of prehistoric marine life. Their fossils have revealed details about their anatomy, behavior, and the ancient oceans they inhabited. Cultural impact. Ichthyosaurs with their fish-like appearance, have captured the imagination of people for centuries. They have been featured in literature, art, and popular media, contributing to their recognition and interest among the general public. Ichthyosaurs represent an intriguing chapter in the history of life on Earth. Their adaptations to the marine environment, diverse sizes, and role as apex predators make them a subject of ongoing research and fascination in the field of paleontology. Elasmosaurus was a prehistoric marine reptile that belonged to the group of animals known as plesiosaurs. These creatures lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 80 to 65 million years ago. 
Elasmosaurus is particularly famous for its long neck and aquatic adaptations. Distinctive neck. Elasmosaurus is most well known for its incredibly long neck, which could reach up to half the length of its entire body. This long neck was made up of numerous small vertebrae and was adapted for reaching and capturing prey in the water. Aquatic lifestyle. Elasmosaurus was fully adapted to life in the ocean. Its body was streamlined and it had four paddle-like flippers that allowed it to move gracefully through the water. Its neck and flippers made it an effective predator. Diet Elasmosaurus was a carnivorous predator that likely fed on a diet of fish and other marine creatures. Its long neck would have allowed it to surprise prey by extending its neck out from underwater and capturing food with its sharp teeth. Size and shape Elasmosaurus could reach lengths of up to 40 feet, 12 meters. Its body shape consisted of a small head, long neck, large body, and long tail. Its overall appearance resembled that of other plesiosaurs. Fossil discoveries. Fossils of Elasmosaurus have been found in North America, particularly in areas that were once covered by ancient seas during the Cretaceous period. These fossils provide important information about its anatomy and way of life. Swimming technique. Elasmosaurus likely used its powerful flippers to navigate the waters. Despite its long neck, it would not have been able to lift its head far out of the water due to the limitations of its neck's flexibility. Extinction. Like other plesiosaurs, Elasmosaurus went extinct around the end of the Cretaceous period, possibly due to changes in the marine ecosystem and competition from other marine predators. Classification Elasmosaurus falls within the broader group of plesiosaurs, which includes a variety of marine reptiles with different body sizes and shapes. Plesiosaurs were not dinosaurs, but were a separate group of reptiles that lived in the same era. Scientific Contribution the discovery and study of Elasmosaurus fossils have contributed to our understanding of prehistoric marine life and the adaptations of ancient creatures to aquatic environments. Cultural significance Elasmosaurus, with its long neck and distinct appearance, has captured the imagination of people for generations. It has been featured in popular media, contributing to its recognition and interest among both scientists and the general public. Elasmosaurus is a fascinating example of the incredible diversity of life that existed in Earth's oceans during the late Cretaceous period. Its unique adaptations and role as a predator make it an important subject of study in the field of paleontology. Leoplorodon was a large marine reptile that lived during the Jurassic period, approximately 160 to 150 million years ago. It belonged to the group of animals known as pleosaurs, which were powerful predators adapted to life in the oceans. Size and appearance, Leoplorodon was one of the largest predators of its time, with estimated lengths ranging from 20 to 40 feet, 6 to 12 meters or even more. It had a streamlined body with powerful flippers, a long neck, and a relatively large head with sharp teeth. Aquatic lifestyle. Like other pliosaurs, Leoplurodon was fully adapted to a marine lifestyle. Its flippers were well suited for maneuvering in the water, and it likely used them to chase and capture prey. Diet Leoplurodon was a carnivorous predator that hunted a variety of marine animals, including fish, squid, and other reptiles. Its large size and powerful jaws allowed it to take down relatively large prey. Four flipper locomotion, Leoplurodon, like other pleosaurs, is believed to have used all four flippers to propel itself through the water. This swimming style provided stability and agility, making it an effective predator. Size variation. There were likely different species of Leoplurodon, each with its own size and adaptations. Some researchers believe that the larger specimens could have reached lengths of up to 40 feet, 12 meters or even more, while smaller species may have been around 20 feet, 6 meters in length. Fossil discoveries. 
Fossils of Leoplerodon have been found in various parts of the world, including Europe and South America. These fossils provide important insights into the biology and evolution of these ancient marine reptiles. Extinction Like many other marine reptiles, Leoplerodon went extinct around the end of the Jurassic period. Changes in the marine ecosystem and competition from other predators are among the possible reasons for their extinction. Predator of the seas, Leoplerodon was at the top of the marine food chain during its time, preying on a variety of smaller marine animals. Its large size and adaptations allowed it to maintain its position as a dominant predator. Scientific interest, the study of Leoplerodon fossils has contributed to our understanding of prehistoric marine ecosystems and the adaptations of marine reptiles to different environments. Pop culture, Leo Pleurodon has captured the public's imagination and has been featured in various documentaries, books and media about prehistoric creatures. Its size and ferocious appearance make it a popular subject for artistic depictions and discussions about ancient marine life. Leo Pleurodon remains a captivating example of the diverse and extraordinary creatures that once inhabited Earth's oceans. The study of these ancient marine reptiles continues to provide valuable insights into the history of life on our planet.